The reason this video is in poor quality is because the file was too large, the original file, it was way too large for me to upload. So I had to use a video editing app in order to reduce the size of this video just so I could upload it and tell you everything. And yeah, I apologize if the audio quality is not so sharp. I'm sorry if the video looks pixelated. Again, the file was too large. So m my sincere apologies on that end and my sincere apologies for the inconvenience. Anyway, let's get to the video. Good morning, everyone. This is Hulkareem 100. Obviously, judging by the reaction of my voice, I am not as chipper as I usually am. And that being is because the Queen, our beloved monarch, has passed away yesterday afternoon. Although that we only got the news later on in the evening. So far, as far as I'm aware, the the code name for what's gonna happen, aka Operation London Bridge, is already in motion. So far, from what I have gathered. Um, they've already announced the official titles of the royal family. Prince Charles will now be named King Charles III. The Duke of Cambridge and the Duchess of Cambridge um, will now be known as... as um, Prince William and Pr Princess Kate. Um, around around um, twelve p.m. today, King Charles the Third will be gathering at the House of Commons, whilst the whilst um members of the parliament pay their respects and they discuss a plan of of his coronation and then around approximately 1 p.m this afternoon guns will be sh will be f shot or fight or fired whatever way you want to say it in salute of respect towards the queen in her in the morning of her death so that's the plan so far. I'm currently watching the news. I've got my TV on mute though because otherwise you won't be able to hear what I'm saying. I'm still watching the news. Currently BBC One and ITV are the only channels that are so far interrupting their regular programming for um news marathons to keep us all updated of what's going on with the royal family it's not been great so far because i looked online and a lot of people have been quite disrespectful you know mocking the situation and that i don't take lightly to but out of respect i'm not gonna you know do anything dramatic in this video i've already you know expressed my opinions on it on my community tab however i'm not gonna be dramatic in my video for towards the trolls because that would just only be adding fuel to the fire and then also as well it would be quite disrespectful to the royal family but i will defend the royal family you know on twitter because i don't like i said i don't take lightly to that sort of abuse um and i've as i said i've already expressed my opinions on that through my community tab but in regards to videos i'm not gonna 
display a reaction you know m right now this video is more focused on the royal family and about them it's got it's got nothing to do with me this is not about me i'm still you know shaken up about it as i said before you know sure i may not know her but she was important to England and she has become a part of our lives, as I said. It is, it is very sad. And although I'm not very fond of, um, you know, um, King Charles III, I do, you know, have respect for him and, and I hope that he's okay. You know, everyone deserves a mother. No one should ever have to witness the death of their mother, you know. A mum is an idol to their children. And it must have been, you know, deeply heartbreaking for him to watch his mum slip away in the afternoon. I can't imagine how any of her children feel, you know. Um... Princess Anne, Prince Edward, um, Andrew. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I, like I said, some of the members of the royal family, you know, not many people were keen on them because of all the controversies. You know, I have my opinion on Andrew and Charles, but like I said, I have deep respect for them at this time type of moment you know you gotta pay respects because as i said it's not about me it's about them and how they're feeling right now but yes as i said the the royal the royals now have new titles um camilla in regards to camilla she is classed as queen con consort I'm not sure if I pronounced that right. Um, so, yeah. Uh, in regards of what would happen if King Charles III... Uh, um, if he, you know, passes away or if anything happens, I think... I think it would be... Prince William, or it could possibly be um, um, Queen's Consort um, Camilla. It's got to be one of them two. I'm not sure how it will go, but it, it will most likely be um, Prince William after King Charles III because uh, I think... Um, Camilla's possibly around the similar age range as Charles. I I, I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't. I don't really, you know. Um, keep tabs on them, so I'm not sure how old she is or how old he is. I do know they've got a slight age gap, so. But I do know that it will possibly, maybe, more likely. Prince William after um, King Charles III. A lot of this is going to, you know, change everything. It will take a very, in regards to changing, in regards to changing the titles on, you know, public service uniforms. You, you know, when you see like the police, they have ER2 um, on their um, uniforms. It will now say CR three, so it'll be CR and then I I I, which means Charles Re Regina third. That's what it stands for. Um, Regina means king or queen or something like that in another language. I looked it up um, last night because uh, I was looking up at what would happen in a time like this, and yes. It will be changing over now. It will, however, may take 
It will, however, may take about possibly a few years, maybe, they said even maybe a decade, because it's going to cost about £6 billion in order to change all of this. And it's going to take such a long time, you know, it's going to... They're gonna then they they'll have to change the uniforms of the police for starters. They'll have to change the logo on all the police vehicles, the the um, stations. Everything's gonna change. All the build got public government buildings such as the passport office, the um, um, the the DWP and stuff like that, and. Um, other places they they will now be under they'll be under his majesty or his ro royal highness or something like that i don't know but it will be given like a male role into it since um charles is now king and cr third will be on all will be on all post boxes um the post boxes i believe will still be red i don't know that one i'm not sure of but i am sure that they will be changing everything to cr third but in regards to in regards to the color of the post boxes i'm not sure they could be changing it to gold i don't know but as far as I'm aware, all post boxes and telephone boxes have always been read, even before before um, Queen Elizabeth II, when when it when her mother was still in the throne, they were always been read. So it most likely could be still read. We don't know. Um, All the money notes, all the pound coins, they will be changing them over. I believe how this is going to work is they will most likely they will most likely do the money first, the currency, because that's a lot quicker. They'll be changing that first, and then I believe there will be um, slowly, gradually changing the police stations. The police stations may be a bit quicker as well because in regards to the markings on their cars, they just have stickers with the with the logo, so they'll just they'll just remove that with um they'll either paint it over or just remove it and replace it with another sticker. Um their uniforms, you know, they can they can easily just create um new badges and hats and stuff. So that will probably be a bit quicker. But in regards to construction of their police stations, it may take a bit longer. Um, with in regards to you know, you know, um, post boxes and post um, phone boxes, that may take a bit longer because there are so many post boxes. There are so many post boxes. There's too many. And that will probably take, like I said, it'll take, it'll take a good few years, maybe even a decade. That's what they said in the article as well, not just me. Even the news people are saying it will take far too long for them to change all the post boxes and phone boxes. So, but I do believe that police stations and and the money situation that will that will be easy and in, in regards to letters obviously that will be easy as well because with the low government logos they do that electronically and on the computer all they have to do is just switch it over and put cr third or you know change the logo it's done electronically so they don't have to worry about that and then they just type his royal majesty or or um, his royal highness or whatever you know it's more easier with them sort of things but when it comes to build when it comes to 
public buildings of the government, like um, other than police stations. Police stations will be easier, but other government buildings would take longer because um, there's so many po passport offices. And um, in regards to um, post boxes and phone boxes, there's so many. There's so many. I mean, look how big the United Kingdom is. It's going to take such a long time. I'm not laughing because I find it funny. I'm laughing because I think it's quite huge. You know, it's it's more of a nervous laugh, really. But yeah, that's my take on all that. Sorry if I just made a weird noise there. I'm a bit thirsty, so I'm having a, a bottle of drink right now. This, I know it's not alcohol. It, I can't drink alcohol, but um, it, it's just um, it's just a bottle of fruit juice. So, yeah. I like um. I like um. Sometimes I like to drink. Uh, what is it actually? I've forgotten what it is. Um, it's one of those um j2o drinks so yeah um i'm just drinking some fruit juice right now because i'm thirsty but yeah that's gonna be the plan of what's gonna happen now and um that's really the schedule like i said um king charles the third will be going to the house of commons to witness the members of the parliament paying their respects to the queen and to discuss his coronation and then around 1 p.m the guns will will go off in salute of the queen in regards to a funeral i that one's not that one is not um is not yet planned they are suspecting it to be the 18th of September but it's not official yet we have to wait until um King Charles the third discuss his reign um excuse me I did not mean to belch there I've got indigestion and um acid reflux right now so yeah that's that's the plan of what's gonna happen and that's what's going on so far Again, I I am so disappointed in what the the trolls have been doing online. But again, I'm not going to react to it in this video. However, I do find it disgusting. If you want to know what happened, just look on my community tab or look on my Twitter account. But I'm not going to discuss any more of that out of respect of the Queen. So, yep. Yeah. That's what's going to happen now and that's all I have to say. Because a lot of people have been wondering what's going to happen next. Well, this is the plan of action so far. Anyway, take care guys. Look after yourselves. Um, try not to be too sad. Well, it's going to be hard, but yeah, just remember the great things about the Queen, you know keep her in your heart and if you can sign the book of condolences i have sharubi has you know um if you can if you live in the uk maybe send send a card out of sympathy up to respect to um king charles the third you know write out a card to him letting him know that you're keeping him in, and the royal family in your thoughts like I said, I may not be fond of him, but I'm still going to send him a card just out of respect because at the end of the day, he's still human. You know, you've got you've to gotta think about how, you, how you'd feel if you'd lost a mother. So, yeah, so I am sending him a card to show, to show my sympathy and to show the gratitude of having the Queen as our Queen. So possibly um think about considering doing that if you are in the uk and like i said the book of condolences is available online so 
if you want to, you know, sign the book of condolences, you can. Sharubi has, you, you, you know, people from all over the world can sign it now because they're not doing the public um, book of condolences out for the safety reasons, mostly due to the COVID situation. But um, you can now sign the book of condolences online digitally. So, yeah, anyone from all over the world can sign the book of condolences. Um, bear, bear that in mind, if you are a troll and if you do leave any disrespectful or disgusting comments on the book of condolences, you could be arrested for that. So I would advise you not to. Even if you're just joking, you'd get in a lot of trouble. So please don't do that because um, as far as treason goes, treason is still a thing. I mean they may not do the they may not do the beheading thing but they can give you life imprisonment so I'd strongly recommend keeping your your bad opinions to yourself it it so no don't do any trolling whatsoever just um you know if you're going to leave a comment on the book of condolences please keep it nice and respectful Okay, no trolling. It's not funny, it's not cool, and it can get you into a lot of serious trouble. Anyway, guys, have a good day. Take care.